Well, we started out picking up pecans. We have a lot of native pecans along the Red River here where we're at. And uh, we started years ago picking them up by hand. You know, people come out and pick them up. We give them half the pecans for picking up ours and because uh, they just grew natural here in, in, uh, in the Red River Valley. And uh, we went from that to we bought a couple of harvesters and then we started picking up a little bit more and a little bit more. And then we had a neighbor or two that would, would you mind picking mine up? So we started doing custom work other than our own. And then Chas uh, got more involved, really very much involved. And he's the reason we grew as much as we did. And then I took him on as a partner about two years ago. Tyler Davis, my brother, my youngest brother, he, uh, you know, he's our banker and he, uh, I put up a proposal and told, you know, daddy said before that we had decided we were gonna have to get bigger. We were gonna have to slow down or catch up. And so I put a proposal together and presented it to Tyler. And, you know, I looked at it and I told him, I said, we're gonna have to run 625,000 pounds of pecans through this plant to make it pay. We just started developing it and uh, and, and it just kind of grew. Neighbors started hearing about us cleaning. We built this cleaning plant. Uh, this is our second year to have this, this facility. We were cleaning in a little old barn and real little deal and real slow and antique, but we just outgrew uh, our cleaning capacity. We're picking up more pecans than we could clean, so we decided we're going to either have to cut back on what we're harvesting or either get us a cleaning plant that we can do. So we built this. We went from 150,000 pounds roughly of our own to now we harvest a little over half a million pounds, between five and 600,000 pounds that we harvest. Uh, we sold pecans last year in Georgia. Georgia is the largest pecan producing state in the union and, and we actually sent pecans there, but, but I guess probably 85% of ours are the natives. We still, you know, we pick up any pecan we can, but. 85% of our business probably is, is our natives. You know, the ice cream companies, the candy companies, they love the natives because they're, they're smaller, um, they, they taste better. You know, a native does have, is, is the best tasting. People just don't like to do it because they're so hard to shell out. But you know, far as uh, they have them, a lot of oil, you know, and that's what the candy companies want. A lot of our shellers, when we would grade our native pecans and send them to us, they couldn't believe that, that our natives graded as good as they did. And, and we've had buyers that would come by and says, I want to grade these pecans myself. And they would grade them and they'd say, this is great. I've never seen native pecans grade as good as they do right here in this area along the Red River. To grow pecans, you got to have three things. You got to have good land, you got to have good land, and you got to have good land. And that's what we have on the Red River because we have such a deep topsoil. You know, that, that topsoil is, sometimes it's 15, 20 foot down. I'm the fifth generation on the farm. My boys are the sixth with part of this, part of the farm. It's bigger now than it, his original farm, but uh, uh, we're, we're still on the same piece of land that, you know, for over a hundred years. Yeah, we all, it, it takes all of us, you know, and, um, we couldn't do it without each other. And it takes everybody. It's been very good. Chas and I, he's, uh, he's kind of the go ahead man and I'm the hold back man and seem like we end up kind of, end up right in the right spot, you know, with, with both of us together. So uh, we, we've got a good partnership. We get along good and. and uh, Pecans is my life. That's, that's what I do. I do it year round. As soon as we get through harvesting, and we get all that, then we're right back in the orchards, cleaning them up, getting rid of all the debris so that you get rid of the bugs, thinning them, pruning them, cleaning them up, getting ready for next year.